Hi, this is Magesh representing AV Technology Consultant Services, your AV consultant. Today we are going to review one of the world's best AV processor called Trinov, which is made in France. And this is very famous because of its AV processing technology. Trinov is one of the brand which has got its own manufacturing chipset. And most of the brands in the market, they try to uh, rely on the third party chipset. But Trinov is the only brand which has its own uh, chipset technology. And today we are going to review this and we are going to unbox this unit. Now we unbox the Trinov audio processor. Trinov is one of the best brands which makes a 3D rendering audio software. And here we're gonna have a brief view of it. This is Altitude 16 that we are unboxing today. The Altitude 16 has got 16 discrete outputs. And today we're gonna go in further review of it. And to unbox the box, you usually get a manual along with the box. And there is a rack mounting stand along with it and you have a remote control of it and it's IR based remote control that you get it and a power cord so you have a two sets of power cord and depending on the three pin or the two pin so you have this power cord with the ground and this without the ground. So you can have this grounded to the equipment. It comes with a nice black bag so that it's protected from any other damages or things like that. And we're gonna open up this bag. Finally, we have unboxed the Trino processor and when coming to the front panel design, we have a power button in the front side, we have a mute option with a nice cute button and we have a volume control knob and which shows up a nice LCD panel, a large screen and we have a source knob which regulates between the HDMI inputs and here we have a back button, select and menu. So once you select the menu, then we gonna navigate across the menu and then select and then hit the back button to navigate between the options. Okay, let's look at the rear panel of the unit. On the rear side of the panel, we have 16 XLR outputs, which are used to connect your power amplifiers or your active systems, active speaker systems for your immersive home theater or your stereo setups. And we also have eight HDMI inputs out of which the one to three ports are HDMI 1.4 and the rest of the remaining ports are HDMI 2.0 on coming to the section of triggers we have one input trigger and four output triggers and also we have an analog section which has got one XLR left and one XLR right so you can plug in an individual section or you can give in a stereo input as well and along with this you also have a RCA inputs left and right and coming to the output input and output sections of digital board you also have a, a, a coaxial and a optical couple of ports of coaxial and couple of ports of optical and coming to the output section you have a couple of uh, ports which is coaxial and optical and coming to the network section you have a video signal DVI in and a VGA and a HDMI which I use typically for the troubleshooting of the device and coming to this section which is the USB keyboard and mouse and a couple of USB ports which are also used for troubleshooting in terms of firmware upgrade and etc and there is a network port for this device gigabit based so which is used to assign the IP address of this gadget and also to control the gadget so you also have uh, RS-232 port which can be used for third party control system in case the control system doesn't support for the IP control.
So the most important device that we have along with the Trino is the microphone. So Trino has got a very unique microphone where it is used to calibrate the entire system that is connected to these inputs and output gadgets. So this is a microphone that we have and it comes additional as an additional unit which you need to procure. And here we got a stand for the microphone and it's a special unique stand designed by Trina where it balances out the microphone exactly in the center of the alignment or when, when it is placed on the stand. And it has got this double grip system. Await for the next video. Thank you.